Shalom, this is your arc. Y'all is magnified, coming back with another informative video. I titled this video, Void and or Voidable Contracts. But before I tackle this subject as always, you all must know, you know, I state for the record, I'm not a lawyer, I do not practice law, and I do not pretend to. All my videos are for informational and educational purposes only. They're all facts and all truth. Nothing more, nothing less. So with that being said, let's get to it. Okay, so now, uh, I have a lot of people hit me in my inbox, uh, basically asking me, you know, even if they signed the contract, can they still get out of it? Yes, you can get out of any contract. I'm living proof of that, you can get out of any contract. And my arc that, uh, got his order vacated, you can get out of any and every contract, okay? You just about to put your mind to it, make your mind up, but that's what you want to do, you know? It's not going to be easy, like I said, but it, it's... It's doable, you know what I mean? You can do it, you know? Like I said, I'm walking, living proof of that, you know? And so many others are walking and living proof as well. Uh, so now, like I told y'all, you know, y'all seen the video that my Og did the testimony on, his order was vacated. So we're going to go over the definition of vacate so we can get understanding. Like I told y'all, all those acts are void. Anything dealing with child support, 99.9% .9 of it is all void, okay? But let's continue. Vacate, to annul, to set aside, to cancel. Or rescind to render an act void as to vacate an entry of record or a judgment. So again, to, you know, basically vacate means to render an act void. Okay, so all these judgments that people got into, you know, these contracts they signed, they're all void. They're all null and void. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you signed the contract or not. You can get out of any contract you signed. If anybody try to tell you all different, then like I stated, man. Stay away from people that don't know what they're talking about or know what they're doing. Okay, so now let's go to the definition for void. Okay, so let's do void contract. A void contract is one which never had any legal existence or effect. And such contracts cannot in any manner have life breathed into it. Okay, that's case law. But let's continue. Expression denotes that the parties to the transactions have gone through the form of making a contract. But... That none has been made in law because of lack of some essential elements of a contract. And such contract creates no legal rights. And either party thereto may ignore it at his pleasure. Okay, so again. Okay. Because the contract is void, you can simply ignore it. But if they bring you into these courts and try to enforce that void contract on you, then you will have your ducks in a row. And make sure you're ready to go in there and stand on your information. Okay, it doesn't matter because you signed anything. It doesn't matter, even a marriage. You know, you signed your, you signed a contract or agreement, and you know, for your marriage, that's a voidable contract. All contracts are voidable. Student loans, car notes, all that stuff is voidable contracts, man. Okay, credit cards, all that is a void contract. Okay, but let's go to voidable contracts. Voidable contract, one which is void as to wrongdoer, but not void as to the wronged party, unless he elects to so treat it. Okay, so now, again, these child support contracts are void, voidable contracts because they are the wrongdoers. They're causing injury to you, you know, and simply because, and simply because you signed a document do not mean that you have to. Stay in that contract. You can get out of any contract. But let's continue. Voidable judgments. One apparently valid, but in truth, wanting in some material respect. Case law to back that up. Uh, one rendered by a court having jurisdiction, but which is irregularly and erroneously rendered, which is a child support order. Okay? You can get out of any void orders and void judgments. Okay? That's why I went over the, the, uh, the vacate, you know, if you can see what vacate means, vacate actually means void, okay? So now, let's go over the different types of void or voidable contracts. Let's go. Okay, so let's pick this up at the top. It says, what are the differences between a void contract and a voidable contract? When dealing with contracts, the terms void and voidable are often confused. Even though these two types of contracts seem similar, they are actually completely different. A contract is void 
cannot be enforced by either party. The law treats a void contract as if it had never been formed. A contract will be considered void, for example, when it requires one party to perform an act that is impossible or illegal. Okay, so now as we all know, certain guys, you know, went in, signed the order, but then the order was too high. Next thing you know, they're paying thousands of dollars a month for an order that they can't afford. So because they can't afford the order and it's uh, impossible for them to make those payments, that, or that order is automatically void. That contract is automatically void. Or say one time you could afford to make the payments, but you lost your job. And you can no longer afford to make the payments. That contract is automatically void. Why? For circumstances out of your control. You can automatically avoid that contract. Okay? That's why they have you going and do a modification because they need to modify the contract. And if you agree to the modifications, then you agree to the terms of, and conditions all over again. But if you lose your job and you say, no, I'm not agreeing to modify anything. You know, this order is now void because I can't perform it. Then, hey, it's a void order. But let's continue. A voidable contract, on the other hand, is a valid contract and can be enforced. Usually only one party is bound to the contract terms and voidable contracts. The un see what you see what I mean? In voidable contracts, usually only one party is bound to the contract terms in a voidable contract. So who's the one party that's bound bound in child support? It's only one party and that's the non custodial parent. It's a voidable contract. You can void any contract. Okay, but let's continue. The unbound party is allowed to cancel the contract, which makes the contract void. Okay? You can cancel any contract. But let's continue. It says the main difference between the two is that a void contract cannot be performed under the law, but a voidable contract can still be performed, although the unbound party to the contract can choose to void it before the other party performs. Okay, let's continue. What are some examples of void and voidable contracts? Void contracts are unenforceable by law. Even if one party breaches the agreement, you cannot recover anything because essentially there is there was no valid contract. Some examples of void contracts include contracts invo involving an illegal subject matter such as gambling, prostitu excuse me, prostitution, or committing a crime. Contracts entered into by someone not mentally competent, mental illness, or minors. Contracts that require performing something impossible or depends on an, imp an impossible event happening. Okay, so now some guys are on child support, you know, and paying an amount of money off their potential. They say, well, you have the potential to make this amount of money. Hey, man, it ain't no such thing as a potential contract or, you know, that or, or, or things that are foreseeable. You can automatically void the contracts. But let's continue. It says contracts that restrain certain activities. Rights to choose who to marry, restraining legal proceedings, the rights to work for a living. That's all they're doing. You see? And you have a right to divorce. You have a right to divorce and you have a right to pay who you want to pay and who you don't want to pay. You have a right to work. You have a right not to work. They cannot force you to work. But let's continue. Voidable contracts are, are valid agreements. But one or both of the parties to the contracts can void the contract at any time. As a result, you may not be able to enforce an avoidable contract. So again, any party can void a contract at any time. Okay? You just got to want to go in there and do these things. Let's continue. Contracts entered into when one party was a minor. The law often treats minors as though they do not have the capacity to enter a contract. As a result, a minor can walk away from the contract at any time. Contracts where one party was forced or tricked into entering. Is that not child support? Are you not forced or tricked into entering that contract? You can get out of any contract. Let's continue. Contracts enter when one party was incapacitated. Meaning drunk, insane, delusional. Okay? So now, with that being said, hey, you can get out of any contract no matter what you sign. If somebody telling you you can't get out of these contracts because you signed it, they making a fool out of themselves. Okay, I'm first hand witness of that. Any contract, no matter what it is, child support, student loans, credit cards, no matter what type of loan it is or what type of agreement you sign, you know, they're all 
unilateral contracts and not bilateral contracts. Only one party seeking benefits. You can get out of that contract easy, you know, if you're willing to fight to do it. So with that being said, that's all I'm going to do for the day. Uh, if you need my help, hit me up in my email at yahismagnified at gmail.com. I have more videos coming up. I have more testimonies coming up and everything else. So we're going to keep this thing moving. Uh, I got more uh, exposing videos to come up too, you know. I ain't done with them yet. I got a lot more coming. I'm just, like I said, I'm going to slow walk this thing. So with that being said, you all be blessed. Have a blessed day. Shalom.